when I am browsing playing card trays online, most playing card trays have a turntable attached on the bottom. When I place 108 playing cards on one side of the tray with an empty side, the playing card tray is unbalanced because of the attached turntable. And here is the evidence. According to geometry, turntables are circular, and according to geometry, playing card trays are rectangular. The problem is that there is a circle inside a rectangle, thus imbalance. The solution is that there should be a rectangle inside a circle by placing a playing card tray without an attached turntable onto a separate turntable. Thus, balance. To the playing card tray manufacturers, please do not attach turntables onto the playing card trays. Another manufacturing problem with most playing card trays is that the interior angles are obtuse. If you slide the cards that are faced up, you can see the other bottom cards that are faced up. The solution is that the interior angles in the playing card trays should be right as in 90 degrees. And when you put the cards against the wall without slope, every bottom card that are faced up will not be seen. To the playing card tray manufacturers, please change the angles from obtuse to right in the playing card trays. I have a bonus opinion that connects to playing cards. I prefer the manual powered card shuffler better than the battery powered card shuffler. With a battery powered card shuffler, you do not control the speed and when there is so much speed from the battery powered card shuffler the cards get damaged with a manual powered card shuffler you control the speed so slowness is better not to damage the card